Control, control initialized. Hello there, comrades and cannon fodder. It's Devoid here. I've got a 1v1 multiplayer on Woodlands map. And I, um, I've only used this map a couple of times for skirmish practices because I like the look of the map, but I haven't used it. This is my first multiplayer game with it against a genuine opponent, so I haven't used it for a proper game before. Um, this is the oil capture phase, obviously. And on this Woodlands map, we have a close oil derrick and a secondary oil derrick to take for both players. Now, they're close enough to easily be able to defend them so they are basically you kind basically you get two oil derricks each but uh it looks like we've both sent some units forward i've just sent one rifle forward here to look for this engineer he's got no hope um but i've got a rifleman protecting this engineer that looks like he is in the right place and as we see look here yeah my first rifleman has run into trouble the second rifleman he's run into trouble but at least he did his job. My engineer's getting out of the way, and these guys are going to protect him. We've got a dog showing the enemy better view range look, so you'll see my units come into view before they can return fire, and you move the dog cell by cell. Look, he's revealed my units. He can even shoot the engineer, whereas I can't see anything, look, so I've got no choice either to back off or attack into it. Luckily, I took out the dog, and now he's blind firing... See, I can't see anyone, and he can't, but he's firing with force fire command. If you use cause control, hold down the control key. Now I've captured that, I'm running away. But if you hold down the control key with your unit selected, they will fire at anything you're pointing at. Whether it's your own units or not, they'll f or the ground and there's nothing there, they'll fire at it. So, and units can usually shoot further than they can see. So that's why these riflemen, they won't attack anything unless they can see it with an attack move. But if you actually select them and order them, press hold the control key, you can fire uh, one cell further than they can see. So you can actually fire into the shroud and fire blind. And that's what my opponent was doing. Look, you see my rifles um, telling me where the enemy is. But that was a bad start. You know, I've been pushed back from my own oil derrick. I've got one left, but to be fair, he could probably have taken that from me. I didn't even kill his engineer, but he that was an aggressive move from him. He hasn't taken his own closest soil, Derek, yet. But he's got units here to tell him when I'm expanding. My engineer's in danger there, but I've got a guy on the move. I'm gonna I was hunting an engineer and I had the right idea, but you know, by the time he gets there it'll be too late. And he might not make it past these guys. Yeah, he did just. But my engineer is being picked up by my APC. I've slowly rebuilt a small force. And I'm hoping to um, like a strike back, basically. My opponent, what did he do? He's got his engineer somewhere safe. Somewhere out of the way. It was here, capturing this. There it is. There's his engineer. And my rifleman's moving this way. Oh, it, may, it would have caught the engineer. He's moving him away. My rifleman would have caught him if it was timed slightly differently. It's a shame. But this is what they're doing, looking for engineers. And here we are, look. M my opponent has got the view range advantage, but I'm still going for it. And my APC's in trouble, taking damage straight away. Now it's dead, and the enemy have got the view range advantage. See, I can't see them, so I can't attack them, but they can see me. You know, I was wrong to fight under those conditions. I just didn't think he'd be able to bring such force immediately here. I thought he'd have gone if he wasn't there protecting it straight away. Like, it, it, you know, I moved here and there wasn't anyone defending it. So I didn't expect him to be able to bring enough force to kill me straight away like that. I thought I could at least hold him off and capture it, but... No, not when I lost my APC so quickly. That was a shame. So it was two setbacks really early. You know, that's not good. And neither side started expanding yet. And we're at five minutes. So that's strange. But I've got my MCV. And my opponent's better off than I am for cash. He's got three... Um, he's got 8,000 
value army, eight and a half thousand. I've got a five thousand value army, so he's got a big advantage. He can scout around with his flat truck, and he's got a small force up front. It's not much though, I could soon take that out if he's not careful. And he's moving his MCV, his second one, forward to his expansion. I've moved mine to my expansion, but my rifle scout's telling me where the enemy is. And this is important. Now, I have to protect my home base, otherwise I'm dead, but I have to also protect this. So my rifle scouts are telling me where the enemy position is, I'm tracking him closely, and I'm using this view range benefit from my oil derrick to give me some advantage. And I've got my tank up front, taken out his tank, now I've got another tank in position, being close to the enemy, and I've got this, but I placed a wall section, thinking, hoping it was a base defence, because it's they're on the same chart, so if you press the R button, you get base defences, and when I had one ready to place, I placed it down, and it was a wall section, you know, because I'd just placed this here. Now, he spotted that look, but the thing is, if my opponent here was to order this flak truck to move here, instead of, it can't go through the wall, so what it would do was, whether he paid attention or not, it would drive this way and round here and this way, and by placing units there, I can kill him. But he's caught me as I'm moving across the map. I did manage to fight him off. We had a fairly... We've got an equal-sized army, but he's caught me out here, look. It's only a small army, but it did. It interrupted my unit, um, my um, reinforcement line. So I've had to pause. I've placed my refinery. But in this engagement, I need to get my MCV set up and get these uh, base defences and stuff into the engagement and my barracks protecting my units. I can't fight an opponent like this unless I'm playing it properly. So, without an MCV, I can't expect unit force, forces like this. I can't expect them to... Look, you see, I need these barracks in place so I can produce units on site, place base defences in... There you go, look, in front of me, and it's just... Yeah, it got blown away straight away, but it's better than my units being picked off at all that time. So, there you go, he's backed off because he's smart. Now, I'm just going to keep doing that in an engagement. So he's smart to back off, but I've got a 10, <coughs> 11,000 value army, my opponent's got a 14,000 value army, so his, his um, good start is paying off. <coughs> and he's got enough to protect this easily from me, so I know I don't really want to be attacking there. I want to, uh, you know, secure this, hold it, and then, you know, advance, ad expand somewhere else. But I've regrouped these units, and my tanks are out of position. He's caught me. So he knows the infantry are the main damage dealers, and I can't keep killing heavy tanks. Look, they made it to me eventually. I took all of them out, but two. But now he's overrun my troops. It's That's it. You know, it was a shame that he did well. It was a really nice manoeuvre where he saw his chance. I think he knew what he was doing. I could be wrong. I don't think it was pure luck. I think he saw what was going on. He saw his chance, and I think he knew it. And I think he knew what he was doing. And he judged that he could have his heavy tanks would survive and my troops would be crushed. And then it would leave his infantry, and he knows they're the main damage dealers. Look, he's got he's, they're all veterans because they've survived these combat, these engagements, because he's salvaging units. Now, your veterans are a lot better. I did actually have a look online and uh, recently and checked the stats for what a veteran unit gets for each upgrade. Now, there are four levels of upgrade for veterans in this. Now, the original Red Alert didn't have a veteran system. A veterancy upgrade system so uh, it's new to open ra so it's another nice little difference but i'll mention that again if i get chance i just want to talk about this but i'm trying to defend this new expansion very difficult uh, i haven't got base defenses and that ready so i know i've got to back off and i'm struggling look he's on the base push and he'll get a lot of nice view range from the radar dome but my second mcv my, that's my home base mcv my first one it's escaped and I'm gathering units, but because um, it's that much chaos, I'm struggling to save these units. Look, this guy's just going to have to hide here for now, and these guys can't get away. These, this barracks rally point still sending troops into the meat grinder, and then I see these hit, so I think, right, I need to set up a position here, because that's just going to get destroyed. So... You know, they've just overrun one uh, construction yard, and I don't want the same thing to happen to the second, so that's why these guys are trying to move in front of it, and that has got me, you know, 
I haven't got enough units. I've won this engagement on this side, yeah, because my tanks are drawing the fire. But look, he's caught it. He couldn't get away. That's that's the end. That's the final moment. And I, I'm assuming I'm trying to replace. Let's have a look at the economy. I've got some cash, so I'm not going to be giving up at this point. Uh, I've got a four, three thousand value army, um, but I'm building a mobile construction vehicle because it's not. I haven't. I haven't been destroyed yet. I'm still going. So, but my opponent's employing tech now. And I haven't got enough rocket troops to shoot that down <laughs> straight away. I've got a small force defending this expansion. You know, it's going to be overrun. I'm just, there's that ore truck still out of the way hidden. And when I finally did move it back, this Tesla coil was waiting for it. Yeah, you go, look. I was like, uh, what, 10 seconds too late? And the Tesla coil just, yeah. There you go, look, zap. I do like Tesla coils, they're cool. But this force, look, uh, I've got to save my ore trucks, and I've just built an MCV, so I thought, right, I've got uh, uh, what resources I can gather, I'll move out, clear the way, and try and set up another base. Let's just see what credits I've got. I've got a couple of grand, so, you know, and I'm getting these ore trucks. They're, they're not even dropping the cash off, look, I've got my hands full. Uh, I've shot his plane down, though, because I've got flat trucks now. So I was able, ready to protect my MCV look, but the combat here wasn't enough. It didn't mean that it was safe to go that way, so obviously I've called it. That's the that's the that's definitely the end there. But I'll show you the army graphs and that for this uh, first game. But this is just game one. Um, I'm going to add a second game on because my opponent asked me for a rematch. And it's good practice against an opponent like this. You know, it's great. It's great practice. So... Uh, there's the army graph, um, earnings graph, that was a little closer, but no, it was way ahead after six minutes, and that's the expansion point, his finishing army, look, 12 heavy tanks, plenty of stuff he's got, he's got a good army, the combat chart, I killed 157 units, my opponent killed 244 units, so that's great, he did a lot better. I destroyed 31,000 value. He destroyed 63,000 val value. So he destroyed more than double uh, of what I did in value. So it shows you I've got an ass kicking, basically, and that proves it. But his finishing army value is 30,000 as well. So he's got a good army value. And the value of it is increased by having tech assets like aircraft. They're 1,350, I think. So having units like that does increase your army value. But... He's got all those tanks, so that's why. Um, but, and I lost uh, 12 structures. I didn't take any of his out. Um, right, yeah, I didn't take any of his out. I've just crushed fence sections by the looks of that. But um, support powers, my opponent has got an airfield, so he's waiting for paratroops and a spy plane to tick down. He's still producing aircraft he's got on the way, so he's still still well on the way. I earned 74,000, my opponent earned 97,000. So yeah, he did well there, and he's got three oil derricks. Taking them from me gave him a nice little advantage, and it set me back as well trying to retake that closest oil derrick of mine. The, set, the, the one he took from me here, it, trying to retake that, it, re, it did uh, put me at a disadvantage early on. But here's the basics. I've got 34 actions per minute. My opponent's got 48. Uh, finishing cash, my opponent's got a few grand. But there's the basics and charts and graphs. I hope you enjoyed that one. And I'm going to move on to the second... Uh, replay for you straight away because my opponent asked for a rematch so it does belong with, uh, with the first post so hello again comrades and cannon fodder I have got this second replay is on Timian map for you and it's a 1v1 and I'm using Russia again because I wanted to be at my best against this opponent and this time he's using Ukraine so uh, we've got a double Soviet matchup, but he's Ukraine, I am Russia. Because if it comes down to it, I want to be able to build um, Tesla units if, it, if I, the game goes that far. But this is the oil capture phase. I'm going to do my usual routine of sending an engineer straight for this. Although, normally I do send a rifle with him. 
or maybe send one of these guys back when it's built later on just so he's covered in case this first rifle heads for him so i'm um, you know if he was on his way he'd be like here and he could slowly move up this way and catch you out so it's not likely but you know there my rifle that was hunting his engineer has been caught out my timing was no good there but I've started to capture my second oil derrick. My opponent has just started to capture his, and he's got a dog again. And at this, with this current build order, instead of building a base defence, I build an extra six rifles, and um, that means that's like 18 rifles I can build and an engineer at the start. And it is um, you can that means you've got units free. You could build a kennel and a dog, but the dog's moving ahead too far. Um, and he, he doesn't think it's a combat area, but he lost that dog. And this this guy's a veteran, so when I found out he was a veteran, I did try and save it, but I saw that happen. You see, I was there, look. I did try. But he's after my oil, Derek. And he's destroyed it, so he's got two oil, Derek's. So I've got one at the moment. And I realise I need to keep rifle guards out spread out and i need to replace them when they die and i need to keep scouts moving it's essential against a good player like this you see how he's moved between rifle guards look so that's just you really have to watch it against some players is obviously i saw you saw what happened to me in the last game but here is a grenadier drop but i only made four because i was a bit short on cash and I dropped off my engineer instead of taking him with me. But I thought, right, I'm not hanging around in my base and letting this guy just grow in strength until he decides to come and wipe me out. I thought, no, I'll actually be a bit more proactive and draw his attention a bit. So I sent this force and I've sent my APC with the grenadiers in it. So I wanted to use them both in combination. But if we look, I've actually got, I think that's four rocket troopers in there. Now, four rocket troops is the minimum you need for an attack force. That's the absolute minimum. But it is partially a distraction force. I don't want to sacrifice too much. But four is the minimum you need. Because four shots will do a lot of damage. And it's meant for the new light tank health health um, amount. The amount of hit points the new light tank was set at and things. Four, you need four now. Um, things like that and it's just a more useful number a single salvo of four or two of them it's a more useful number you know um, for certain things but they can't be idle not at this point they may as well not even exist if they're idle but I'm sending out my MCV and I'm being cautious because I'm sending um, units luck with it but I'm being cautious he's got a technician hidden there and w will it fire? That's really sneaky doing that. I wonder if it's on hold fire. But I'm sending this force, so he now knows, quite likely. Uh, let's just see. No, he hasn't. I don't know if he's seen it. But that's a nice little move, that. Now I'm attacking. I've attacked an ore truck. No damages yet. Uh, he's escaped, the ore truck. Now, he hasn't got much on site, and I've sent uh, that on a scouting route. So I'm dropped off my grenadiers, attacking the power plant. He's running away with a construction vehicle, so that means no base defences. Now I'm hitting the second power plant, and I'm destroying the third with this force on its own. Now the APC is solely to screen this force. Now he's bringing everything back, look. But this is a counter-attack. Good, that's what a good player will do. So I need to watch it, but I'm ready for that, because a good player knows that. But here we go, look. He's in low power big time, and I'm hitting another power plant. I'm still screened. There's the screening vehicle gone. My troops are fleeing, but he's going to chase them. Oh, no, I've stopped and pressed attack command. Now he's attacking here, but he's going to be driven off. Now I've done the same there, look. I've tried to place a base defence and come out with a concrete wall. I'm, uh, I need to, you know, stop that. If I'm building a concrete wall, build them and place them and then leave it. Cancel any that I don't place. I need to remember because it's a couple of times, and it happened in the last game, I wanted to place a base defence and I end up with that. Although, um, sometimes I do, they are useful because later on you can build one and it actually you can place a full section in one with one wall section after that because if you was to place one here, it connects and builds you a full wall. So leaving one in place is not a bad idea. 
Now I'm escorting this uh, MCV because I need to expand. He's recovered his power situation, but I'm at 15,000 now. He's at 14.8. He's I'm at 16,000. He's at 15. Now we've got an engagement here. My unit's escorting the MCV and pop straight into this force. So I need to see they're on stop command except those are in moving into formation. That's nice to see. Now these tanks need to get into position. Base defence is in front of my units and barracks with me to produce infantry on site. Now he's wise, he's backed off because he's seen the conditions he's fighting under are no good. And I thought, right, I've got three heavy tanks, I can see these guys coming, I've got something here, why not just hit him and see what happens? And I saw the situation here and saw him place a base defence and thought, right, this is pushing it, I need these tanks to stay here. But I also had uh, wanted to keep these tanks moving and drawing enemy fire. Look how quickly he took them down to zero health, that was impressive. But I've got another tank on scene just in time and my flamethrowers are going to work. Start burning it all down, killing the engineers, look there's one dead. Kill his ore trucks, tanks arriving and I brought in my last uh, set of reinforcements from down here. I chose to do it because this is decisive and he's got a Tesla coil. But I'm getting the upper hand of this situation, I can see it. And uh, so I'm bringing my MCV forward. And he's falling back with his MCV. He's at eight thousand. Uh, I'm at eight nine thousand army value. He's at five six thousand, and he's expanded here. Although I haven't seen a full eco transfer yet. Look, now I've got that. I thought, right, I'm destroying it. I don't think I'm anywhere close to building a radar dome. So I just thought, press on with the standard units and push him back. And I knew he'd organise a defence here and he'd do it properly. So. You know, I'll watch it, watch this bit because this is how I could have blown it here. I could really have ruined it. And I think, judging by that look, he knows it. That's why he's backing away and letting me commit and overcommit. You know, he's got his all trucks protected. And look, he wants to bring me where he can see me with his buildings, but I can't see him. You see, he knows what he's doing. So I was like, I'm getting straight out of there. I'm not falling for that. You see what I mean? He knows what he's doing. I was winning there, and he could quite easily have turned that around. He, in fact, he did everything right. It was just, I thought, why cooperate with him? He can see me up mustering a force here, because that would have shown it might be uh, my units to him. He would have seen it. Look, and that view range would have shown him my units heading off that way. But he's really... That was a perfect to reinforce this area as well. He's repairing tanks, so that was very good. He did everything right there. It was just a shame I got the better of that engagement. It was a shame for him. But I thought, I'm not going straight back into his base. I'm rallying my whole army. And then this or this oil derrick here, you see he's got this force on the move. He can't see, but this oil derrick is telling him what's going on. Now he's seen it. And he's seen a large force look. So there's his counter-attack. I've seen it there, and I'm getting my MCV out of there. This is to buy me a bit of time, and I see I can get him in low power, so I've left three tanks to deal with the power and not get destroyed by the base defences like infantry would, and then move here to attack his ore trucks. Now this force is going to try and deal with this, and I've got reinforcements heading, heading their way as well to win a decisive engagement. Now I can see units coming this way, look, so I thought, right, rather than run away, I'll go back and double back and find his ore trucks here. But then when I saw structures, I uh, knew I had to get some units to approach from this side, just in case this tried to get away, or ore trucks or something. I knew I had to have units that side. If I had the opportunity, I knew it was a good thing. But look, he's got a perfect concave against me, but I'm bringing my tanks into position. Now that should do the job. Tanks behind him. Now they're meeting in the middle. Should look at the flamethrowers. Burn it all. Just burn it all down. Now there's my thieves. Soon as I've got the opportunity. Now my opponent's got no money. Soon as I've got the opportunity, look, thieves are on the go. Now he has. That was good. Yes. That's reduced him to zero cash. That'll do, nicely. Took a grand away, it's not a lot, but and it cost me that much for it, but at least it takes it away from the opponent as well. 
Now I can see he's got base defences, that's why these tanks are on move command to move into the right position. I don't want them, my troops getting fried without these guys taking a lot of damage first. But look, you see, keep my stuff compact. Where they're getting run over, they should, their scatter command. And there you go, keep these tanks tucked in closely, nicely. Now he sent one vehicle there, but I placed an extra base defence and saw these, and I'm more than capable, I've got enough assets and cash to defend this against anything he can send right now. I'm bringing this forward, and his economy situation, he's bad, he's got zero cash still. So here we are, overrunning this position. But I knew I had to carry on, and I saw that these guys here and this force these structures and I moved them away because I didn't want to just have them moving past base defences and engaging piecemeal so I want them all together look so they can engage at the same time there you go my opponent's giving it up calling it and there you are um, that was the rematch so it was a um, great game I enjoyed that one and I was glad to see that I could actually handle an opponent of that skill level you know, and um, fight along that level. And I think it was this area was where, obviously, the decisive moment was. That initial engagement here... I know there'd been engagements before that, little skirmishes, but that initial engagement here where I moved into him and then I just got the upper hand and he fell back and luckily I pushed without hesitation and I actually overrun him, overran him here. And that allowed me to take this position, and everything changed in my favour from that point. So it was um, it was fortunate that it went that way at that point. But I'm also glad that I recognised the situation here, and that I didn't blow it by overcommitting and thinking I've won and I've got to do it and keep pressing on. Because having success here by pressing on doesn't mean I'm going to have success here by pressing on and trying to force the situation. So when I fell back, my opponent knew what he was doing. He saw his force retreat this way and let me move in. And then he moved back and I showed you briefly that I couldn't see his attack force and to shoot back, but he could see my units. So it was crucial that I escaped this way. It was absolutely crucial at that moment. So it was a really intense, crucial point along here that point of the game but here's the army graph and you can see our ups and downs and that look that's great yeah it was a great battle and earnings graph quite close except i had a nice earnings spike then that might be infiltration no it wouldn't be infiltration sorry but that's uh obviously when i expanded like uh, just after the midpoint um my finishing army a few tanks not many only about five, but I'm moving forward. I've got what I need, and I am, have got tech as well. So I was developed, and I've got the um, support powers from that airfield as well. But here's the combat tab first. I killed 237. My opponent killed 248. Uh, my finishing army value is 14,000 and a half. I destroyed 67,000 value, my opponent destroyed 54,000 value. This time I only lost 4 structures and my opponent lost 27, so it's the other way around this time. And here's my support powers, I'm the one in, it's, that's the other way around as well. I've got paratroopers and spy plane ticking down. Um, there's my production. No uh, aircraft or anything. I'm building Tesla coils to reinforce my defences, but I'm not building aircraft or anything yet. Economy tab, I earn 101,000. My opponent earned 87,000. I spent 100,000 and my opponent spent 99,000, so we had a good spending spree each. Finishing money's nice for me. Uh, and the basics tab, I had uh, 31.6 actions per minute. And my opponent, 45 actions per minute. But there you go, there's all the graphs and charts, and that's the rematch for you. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it all as much as I did. They were a great couple of games, and I was really pleased. And, um, you know, my opponent fought really well. It was a good good couple of games, and I'm pleased to see, like I say, that I can compete against an opponent that good. It was nice to see. Now I'll have to start competing at that level with allies. So uh, if you liked what you saw and enjoyed the game as much as I enjoyed playing it, give us a sub and a like. And until next time, viewers, thank you very much for watching. Um, take good care of yourselves and 
for now, goodbye. Battle control terminated.